Welcome on the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are on the test server again today, and I have another Hellcat build for you guys. This time I'm going to be doing the team I did yesterday, my upload yesterday, which is basically a Tower Skull Crusher team, right? We have Hellcat going on a 4 3 ratio, using that block damage for the AoEs, and then placing that shield for the stun. And that's it. It's the simplest team ever. Everybody else is just going at a 1 1 ratio. So I did say yesterday that I was going to show you guys a two key rare team and i had built a team when i said that i hate myself sometimes when i said that i built a team that was so close to getting a two key it was like you know 32 33 million something like that but i had my rares kind of you know built with damage and that's after i did it i was looking i was like uh maybe i should eh, tone this down a little bit i mean what's the point of having rares if i'm gonna have you know the greatest gear in the world on them and so i did a video that i was going to show you guys today which is them with almost no gear whatsoever and looking amazing. Just look amazing. And then I thought about it more today and I was like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I promised a two key video. I'm going to do my darndest to get there using only rare champions. So I haven't even run this yet. I think we're going to get there today. Um, but I kept the gear reasonable, right? Crit rate on everybody. But I didn't, like, go crazy with the crit damage. I didn't go crazy with the attack. And the rare champions, anyway, they're not going to do amazing stuff. Pretty basic. But my gear is pretty good. It's hard for me to, like, keep, keep everything down. But I really did try my best. What I do want you to pay attention to, though, is the HP and the defense of these champions. Because this is really going to showcase how amazing Hellcat is. Because Hellcat is outstanding keeping your team alive and the great part about it is the lower your HP you don't need a lot of defense on your stun target and Hellcat's still gonna be a freaking beast when it comes to blocking the stun damage so that's what I'm excited to showcase for you guys today so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get into that right now so before we go into the run I want to show you the total stats on these champions as well as who i'm bringing in so you have an understanding of how i've set this up and why this is such an interesting run that we're going to be doing now like i said i think this is going to be a two key team but no guarantees on that but it is all rare champions and we're going to be darn close even if we don't get fully to two keys what's interesting about it is notice frozen banshee one of the first champions we have in twenty six thousand hp 2000 defense and yet should still be able to survive the stun hit even with those crazy low stats um she's going at 173 speed she is slowest in this comp uh we have grave chill killer in here a 25 and a half thousand hp 2000 defense 186 speed fastest in the team or going first in the turn order but yeah that's a really low defensive number there we have Marked. Marked is obviously going to have only 2,000 defense. All these champions have about 100% crit rate. It's one thing I tried to put on them. But as far as crit damage, you can see it is low. We're not getting crazy damage out of these rare champions here. Um, Hellborn Sprite, same kind of thing, 175 speed. So between Marked and Hellborn Sprite, what's going to happen is that Mark's going to place that block debuff and increase defense buff, and Hellborn Sprite's going to extend it. This is affinity friendly. So that'll extend it for the between the AoEs to make sure the affinity doesn't land any debuffs. And then for the stun, only champions Marked and whoever goes ahead of Marked in the turn order will have that block debuff on. Those are the ones we need to take the stun. In this case, that's going to be Grave Chill Kill here with as i said twenty five and a half thousand hp and two thousand defense doesn't take a lot to get good numbers to be able to survive this stun um and i'll go into that more as we go through the fight and then we have hellcat here and hellcat i had to re-gear uh because i'd use them in another build but we've got five thousand defense a much more reasonable number still a lot but i think with increase with the defense gloves defense chest piece this is something that's fairly attainable for people 246 speed obviously important to be fast and then we have good crit rate 100 percent 296 crit damage i mean i'm gonna build him good right he's the one we want to showcase a little bit here but 
you know, basically not that different from how I had them built yesterday in the other video I did. And if you're looking for the masteries of these champions, go ahead and check out that other video. I don't want to waste your time looking at the gear of these champions. You see the total stats. You know what you kind of have to hit. And as far as the masteries, it's basically the same as we used yesterday. Simple stuff that doesn't affect turn meter, cooldown reductions, um, and that's pretty much it. And of course, if you guys haven't already, please take the time, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to help support this channel. And if you like today's music, we do have that Soundstripe link down below in the pinned comment and description of this video. So as we get into the run here, this is gonna run just like my other team did. It's a tower skull crusher unkillable team. That's basically what we're doing. We just don't need skull crusher, which is great. Um, you can see Grave Chills in the lead there. Uh, we get that block debuff from uh, Marked, extended by, uh, great, by <laughs> Hellborn Sprite, and we're gonna block all the debuffs that from that uh, AOE, right? So we're in good shape there. And then we're gonna get this, we have the shield out already uh, from Hellcat, and that's what's going to keep us from dying. And there you go, you see Grave Shield takes a stun. We still have the block debuffs on because she's going higher in the turn order than marked. And this is gonna keep us affinity friendly. We're not gonna take the stun. Um, one of the interesting thing you can see, we got decreased defense from Grave Chill out there. We've got the weakened from Hellcat. This is a pretty solid kind of little team with a bunch of rare champions here, right? Um, you know, the timing I have it is to make sure that we do have those poisons up so that when we put the decreased defense right before the AOEs, Grave Chill is making that happen for us, which is great. And so we're benefiting from that from all of our Giant Slayer, War Master procs, um, as well as just raw damage, of course. Um, but there you go. Yeah, we're getting poisons going on there to try and get up more damage in our team as well. Um, now, two keys is a pretty high bar, uh, and I think we should be able to do it. But, you know, rare champions, we're not doing a lot. So what we really need is just as many poisons as possible. I actually don't love Frozen Banshee for this. I'd much rather bring in a Cult Brawler, to be honest. I think we'd have better results, but I mean, we're still doing pretty good. You saw the debuff bar was full just a second ago, and it's gonna continue to grow as we uh, continue fighting along here. So it's not a it's not a bad kind of team whatsoever. Uh, it's just that there's ways I would, you know, prefer to use definitely other champions in this. But you saw the stats we had on these champions. It's nothing crazy, 100% crit rate, but nobody had more than like 130 crit damage outside of Hellcat. We didn't have crazy, you know, uh, attack really on anybody. I think Grave Chill might have some pretty decent numbers, but she's only doing 40k on a hit. It's not like she's doing, you know, 150,000 damage, right? There's no legendaries in here outside Hellcat. Not even any epics that are a huge improvement over this team. So even if we only do a three key, this is a very awesome three key team and if we do do a two key team you know or close to that even with lower stats on hellcat we're still going to get great results and i think that's something we can definitely you know be happy about and happy with now obviously the interesting thing here is going to be grave chill and surviving that stun we're really relying on that shield coming from hellcat for that to work for us and uh, i think it's going to be pretty effective i'm uh, you know we'll see how it goes but the reason why we have the hp so low on these champions is because the damage from the stun is based off of your max HP. So the lower your HP, the less damage you're taking, which means the less defense you need, which means that shield from Hellcat is doing even more work for you. Really nice. So I think this is going to work really nicely here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Um, we're going to actually, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of let this run. These runs aren't super long. I think the one I did yesterday was 12 minutes and we had counterattack. No counterattack in this team. So this should be pretty quick. It'll probably be a little bit longer run to watch, but let's see if we survive. I'm not 100% sure certain, but uh, we'll speed it up. Maybe jump ahead a little bit and uh, yeah, see what we do.
33.37 million. This close, guys. This close. Ah, so close to actually making that happen. But what's cool is we survived for 50 turns. Nearly got that two key. I think it's pretty easy to see that, you know, we could were I to optimize things a little bit further and take it to another level, but I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I mean, obviously Hellcat's built, right? I mean, I got a lot, I got 300 crit damage on him. Like, he's built, but, you know, even without that, I feel like we could get pretty good results regardless. Um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good team. I mean, it's just, it's, the thing is, it's so easy to do this. You can see, even if you don't build Hellcat out, even if you, like, keep him pretty low, right? I mean, we're still doing three key damage. Easy. You take half his damage away, we're doing three key damage. That's great. And I think that's kind of the idea behind this, is he makes these teams so easy. This is why, I, you know, there's no there's no budget needed for this, right? It's, it is budget. It is just because of Hellcat. So hopefully this gives you guys the idea of like what you can do with not a whole lot, you know. I did pretty close to this kind of damage actually taking off like half the gear pieces as well. I mean, when you're just relying on poisons, you don't need a whole lot else. If that's your primary source of damage, there's not a ton else that you really need to bring in. You know, I just like I like having decreased defense, I like having weaken and I like having a boatload of poisons. If I can do that, I'm going to have a great result. If I could bring in Rosin and I could bring in a Cold Brawler instead, definitely Definitely, these numbers would be going up. I mean, it, for me, it's that simple. It, even using still two rares like Marked and Hellborn. And now, maybe you can't farm Marked. I might have been mistaken about that. But you can certainly farm a Val Valerie instead of Hellborn Sprite. Um, you know, you can fuse a Rosin if you can get a decent Poisoner. It, God, if you could build any kind of damage, use a Grizzled Jarl instead of Marked and get some actual raw damage on this team. Or get a uh, Mausoleum Mage. Get a little extra crit rate in your build. Like, there's so many ways to improve this so simply. It's Hellbor Hellcat is just phenomenal. I think really one of the best champions out there. Everybody should be fusing this champion. Everybody should. Because it is the quickest way to get to a two or three key Ultra Nightmare team with nothing else on your account, basically. Uh, absolutely wild. So hopefully you guys found this uh, informative, helpful, uh, enjoyable to watch. And guys, uh, really looking forward to the next one. I got a 2-1 team. I, I'll try and put that out tomorrow. We got a lot of stuff kind of happening this week. So we got some news coming through. Uh, you know, So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. And uh, yeah, that's what we got going on, guys. Thanks for hanging around. And until uh, next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.